Hey, everybody, Fred Minnick here, and we're going to West Virginia to taste some Contradiction Rye from Smooth Ambler. Giddy up! So Smooth Ambler is one of those distilleries in um, West Virginia that has a special place in my heart. I love John Little. I love the entire staff there. And uh, my boy Paul, the distiller there, is a fellow Iraq veteran. And we share, we share the common bond of that whole veteran thing. And it's pretty cool, you know. But uh, Contradiction Rye is a blend of straight rye whiskeys. Now, they were one of the very first to take their distillate and blend it with other stuff. So they're blending their distillate, which means the stuff that they make in West Virginia, with distillers from Tennessee and Indiana, which most likely means Dickel and most definitely MGP. And by the way, it comes in a real nice box, just like that. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of boxes, to be honest with you. Um, they kind of, they're just another thing to, you know, take up space. But when you are giving a gift to somebody and it comes in a box, it's kind of a special feeling. You know, it's kind of cool. So this one's coming in at 105 proof. Ding, 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 ding. 105 proof. We got above 100 proof. Here we go. Uh, can I get a 105 proof? Can I get a 110? Can I get a 115? Can I get a 120? 125? 125? 125? 105. 105 proof. So that was my little uh, auctioneering. I've done a few auctioneering things in my life. but uh, uh, All right, so let's get to it. Some Contradiction Rye from Smooth Ambler. Okay. Smells like peanut shells. Peanut shells and, uh, and bubble gum. That is definitely not how you want to start it tasting with me. Peanut shells and bubble gum makes me think of being in a circus and sitting down and putting your hands underneath the seat and there's all these chewed up wads of uh, bubble gum underneath there and you're stepping on peanut shells everywhere. And then you got some kid in the background screaming for their mommy or something like that you know never had a good experience at a circus never have yeah definitely i'm doubling down on that peanut shells and the oh shit i just spilled i just spilled all over my computer so after the peanut shells after the you know bubble gum smell i'm getting some like uh some herbs now to taste. In brilliant fashion, it tastes way better than it smells. This is kind of like I'd equate the uh, I'd equate the smell to taste ratio here, much like you would like a, a Roquefort cheese or a blue cheese. It smells all crusty and funky, and like you don't think you want to taste it. Uh, and then you taste it, and you're like, oh, damn, this is good. It reminds me of that. So, flavor-wise, it's got, it's got a, like, a lot of almonds, a lot of almond, a lot of nutty characteristic to it. Uh, has a lot of herbaceous qualities to it. I'm thinking, like, an herbal candy. Um, you know, there's some ginger. There's some cardamom here. There's some clove. There's a really nice, beautiful note of clove right there, kind of, like, back palate. And then coming in underneath, there's like a um, a really nice bitterness. Uh, big fan of that bitterness. It reminds me of like a walnut shell. You know, kind of staying on track to the uh, to the nutty design of this thing. But it's definitely tasty. And what's probably the most powerful thing about it is that it is finishing long and strong. Woo! Take me to West Virginia 
and sprinkle in a little bit of Tennessee and Indiana to make this contradiction. Woo! But definitely, this is uh, this is one to add to your tasting here. Uh, I'm a fan of this one already. You know, so the last edition of this was just north of 50 bucks. I don't know what the price point is on this one exactly, but if it falls in line with past releases, it's probably going to be between 50 and 75 bucks. If that is different, I will put it in the comment section, and so you can see for yourself. Uh, but that is, uh, this is this is a winner. This is definitely a winner in in the in the tasting of uh, a blend of rye. So kudos to Smooth Ambler for keeping the contradiction going strong but that's going to do it for this episode this tasting episode thank you for tuning in if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button and you know you know what if you're not if you want to become a member join the crazy community of membership where they saw this whole thing live uh weeks before anybody else so become a member and get the inside scoop before anybody else that's the singling level of membership anyway that saw this live but I uh, appreciate you tuning in. Be safe out there. No licking your handrails. No licking trash cans. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>